Now you must survive 25 days on a remote tropical island to win $250,000. Could you do it? We're telling you now with the host of the CW's intense new survival competition series, Fight to Survive. Akbar joins us. Good morning. Will, good morning. $250,000, that's a lot of money. You asked the question, could you do it? I think you're asking me. Of course I could do it. No, oh. you weren't asking me. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, like, look, so, so you played football before, and I mean, you've hosted a bunch of these shows before. I believe, and I have faith in you, that you could do it. Me, on the other hand, look at me. I'm a TV guy. I'm not, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I could probably last about three days or something. <laughs> you know, look, if somebody tried to, I think somebody would know my kryptonite is I need food to fuel this big body. But, you know, you get 17 competitors who are coming from all different places. They've got different backgrounds. Some have been on shows similar to this, but this is very different. Fight to Survive is a different beast. Why? Because you literally have to fight to survive it's in the title we've got competitors who've come from alone and survival and american ninja warrior and of course uh a, a naked and afraid but this is different because you get these 17 competitors will who have to fight for four resources there are four of them there's food there's water there is shelter and there is firewood and the first to claim it don't own it forever because at any given time they can be challenged for it. Right. And that's what makes this show so unique because you could think that you've got shelter and all of a sudden tomorrow you're fighting to keep it and you have to get into that arena. And you saw that just in the video there. There's no show like this. You know, I think back to when the producers brought this to me and I'm looking at this, I'm going, the first thing that popped <laughs> in my mind was like, yo, this is the real life Hunger Games. Yes. Yes, it is. So I know you were saying that there are 17 other, the 17 contestants, they were on other reality shows before. Do they come in with like this, I guess you'd have to have it, some sort of like cocky attitude, like I've got this. And is there a way to even train for a show like this that is so incredibly intense? I mean, look at these people, we're showing them on the screen. They're fit people. Yeah, that, that would be cruel and unusual punishment to train <laughs> for this. I think you either have the intestinal fortitude or you don't. And that's what it comes down to is intestinal fortitude. But yes, there are some that have come that came into this competition thinking I've been on different shows before. Well, you've never done anything like this because the what makes this again different is that you literally have to fight to survive. You see us here in this video. Like you're in the middle of a ring. So you don't have a lot of energy. You know, by the time you get to day 10, day 11, you don't have the, the same type of nutrition level. And even if you didn't, the fact that you have to exert so much energy to keep your belongings or to keep your resource, that makes it all the more different. So every time you go out there and you have your challenge, you're draining a lot of energy that you already don't have. Look, the truth is that there are already caloric deficit, a, a deficit, there's, there's already a caloric deficit right and so because they're going through that deficiency it, it it can it can play on the mind i bet and and the conditions for this competition are real really brutal i mean they're not sitting by like the pool at like the ritz fighting over like a mojito or anything they're tough no no, no. <laughs> okay, look, let, let me tell you something there are like these these uh oh, i forgot they're coconut crabs oh yeah these no i'm things, out i'm look, out <laughs> i'm I, out I, I, no, no. well these things can cut your finger nope. off. Their claws or whatever those things are can cut your fingers off. Nope. They're snakes that you're eating like random stuff. This is in a remote island. I'm talking about, you don't know what's out there. There's random stuff and bugs nope. and animals that you don't see here stateside. Right. I'm telling you, actually, let me answer your question again. <laughs> Heck no, I couldn't do this, man. <laughs> right. Let me see one of them coconut crabs. I'm gone. <laughs> I got it. I got, see, that, that's why, Akbar, you host the show and I host this show. We're not doing that. Yeah, yes, I know, right? And look, and there is inherent danger. Like, this is for real, for real. There's inherent danger. You could just step out to that ocean and you can run into a bandit snake. And a bandit snake is one of the most deadliest snakes and the most venomous snakes in, in the ocean in the world. I mean, one one little shot from that snake and it can take out 10 men. Yeah. So remember, they're right there next to that ocean as well. Yeah. I like my idea sitting by the pool uh, having a having a drink. You can you can swing on over. I think so too. I'll save you a chair. Akbar, thanks so much for, for being on with us. You can watch Fight to Survive at 8 p.m. every Thursday right over on the CW.